Hello there. Um, yeah, I've had an interesting evening tonight. Just listening to this album again. It's um, Cooler Shaker K. Now this is the 1996 uh, CD. So it's the original release on the CD format. And for 20 years, when I've gone to want to play this album, this is what I've been uh, using to play the album on. And that was until uh, 2016 when I heard that they were releasing a vinyl version to mark the 20th anniversary of the original release and uh, of course I ordered it and since 2016 since you know, when I've wanted to play the album this is the format that I've been using to play it on but as I've been playing quite a few CDs over the last week or so I uh, came across this again. I thought, well, it'd be good to do a, a comparison then of between listening to this and, this, uh, and the uh, the original 90, 1996 CD version in comparison to the 2016 vinyl version. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I made a, quite a lot, lot of notes and... Um, some observations then and I drew, drew some sort of conclusions between the two formats quite interesting really and uh, I, th I think overall the album itself is, is, is quite challenging really for a hi-fi system or an audio system because it, 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 there is quite a lot going on some of the tracks are really quite busy and uh, certainly I uh, in the bass frequencies, there is, is quite uh, a lot going on there, and not only bass guitar, but um, there are other instruments which which are added into the bass frequency. So quite quite challenging, and I felt like I'll give an example then on uh, a couple of tracks that um, certainly the vinyl had greater grip on the bass. Um, for instance, um, track three, Temple of the Everlasting Light, and track four, Govinda. Um, it's slightly more control and grip uh, on uh, those bass frequencies, so it made it a little bit easier to understand and follow what was going on and to try and make sense of, of, of the instruments and what was being played and what have you, where, um, in comparison to the 1996 CD version. But the 1996 CD version does have its highlights, and uh, certainly uh, Tatva is an example of that. And um, there's quite a lot of heft in the in in the bass on that particular track on the CD version. But I felt it feel that it is actually kind of appropriate in that particular song uh, on that particular track to have it because it really does. Uh, the bass does kick in and, and it does sound particularly very, very good on the CD version. Um, but, you know, uh, so, oh, it's just something else then, for instance, uh, one of my favourite tracks on here is um, uh, Sleeping Jeeva, and it's the first track on the, the, the B side. Now, that I think, uh, having it sounds really good on both formats, but uh, having played it on CD and then on vinyl, the vinyl had a little bit more of a wow factor. Uh, there's a the instrument is a sarod and it's been played by uh, Wajhat Khan, I believe, and um, it's the the musicianship is superb. The piece of music is is wonderful, and it, it there's definitely a, a I think a greater sense of just like a, a a sense of air around the instrument then uh, on on the vinyl version. So I just felt that uh, it just produced a, a better musical image I and mean, I'm thinking of like kind of the space in front of me then uh, listening to the musician playing the instrument it, it the, the actual musical image was a lot more vivid 
listening to the vinyl version as opposed to the CD. Um, just another like overall observation then the, the, the vinyl version I felt on oh, certainly in my system and you know using my ears as well in my system it, it, it's it could be a lot different for for other people that might have heard this you know that done the the comparisons in the ear system and what have you but uh, the, the actual sound stage was slightly deeper uh, and so it was slightly easier on on the uh, slightly deeper in the vinyl version as opposed to the cd so it was kind of help then to bring out those extra vocals that are going on on the album so just slightly different presentation then to this where where uh, the musical image was a, perhaps a little bit wider on the cd but the vinyl maybe a little bit narrower but deeper and because of that, I just felt that that extra sort of that extra sort of layering of of the actual presentation of the music in in that space in front of me allowed that vocal or or, or, or the the vocals then and the additional vocals just to actually be a little bit more um, apparent and noticeable. But that said really nice again to listen to the album a fantastic album it really is and um yeah i know there was a a 15 year uh sort of after a 15 year release of uh, like a remastered edition of the cd which i don't have so it was like 15 year anniversary then really re sort of re-release then or on or remaster on the cd version so i'll be interested to hear how that compares to the original one as well so um yeah interesting so there we are that uh, was my evening then spent uh, listening to this again so thanks for watching the video bye bye